Can we get a petition to not have stickers on books? Like, look, there's a sticker right here, and now it's all dirty. I'm gonna have to clean that off later. Like, at least the Target sticker came off so easily, but that sucks. <laughs> so it's been a while since I've actually done a book vlog. Um, today, I'm feeling a little sad. And so I impulsively bought Tokyo Ever After because it sounded really interesting and kind of like this would never happen to me kind of thing. So I wanted to read it. So I picked it up. <laughs> but so I'm just gonna lay here and start reading with my dog. Before I start this, um, I've never heard of this book. I literally was just walking in Target and I saw it and I read the synopsis and I liked what it said. name is Tamagotchi. Like that's so funny, Tamagotchi. <laughs> okay, so this is really funny. I hope the music isn't too loud. Um, but she says, so her best friend is like super, like she gets her into trouble. And so her best friend just sat up and her smile is cat-like, secretive, smug. Another reason I'm a dog person. Never trust the cat, they'll eat your face if you die. <laughs> I have no proof of this, only a strong gut feeling. And actually, I think it is true that a cat will eat you if you die <laughs> to like survive that's really funny so i got to chapter five page 43 in Tokyo ever after and she just reached out to her father and now like the press all knows for some reason um, and so her father invited her to visit Japan and like meet him and everything so she is about to fly there because she decided to go it's really good so far. I really like the friend dynamic and the writing and the character and all that, but I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> so I think I'm going to stop for a little bit and eat some lunch, watch some TV, and then probably when I get back from my appointment at 1.30, I'll continue reading some more. But I'm really enjoying it. I also have to find some tennis rackets because we're gonna go play tennis tonight. So I need to find those as well. So I got some things I need to do. So I need to stop reading for a little bit, but I'll catch you guys back when I'm reading again. So it's actually a lot later now. It's almost 4.30 and I am going to continue reading um, Tokyo Ever After. I'm just a little worried because I have this finger tattoo 
that I just got and I just put like Vaseline on it and now I'm worried it's gonna get on the pages. <laughs> much later now it is nine o'clock and uh, I'm exhausted <laughs> my sister-in-law and her friend and I went to play tennis so now I'm really exhausted I the last time you guys saw me I only read one chapter so I read chapter five and then my boyfriend came home so I talked to him for a bit and uh, ate dinner and then I went to play tennis and then I watched TV for a little bit because I was tired so I was recovering so I'm on page 56 she just got to Japan and so now she's driving to the palace and there's a really hot guard and it's like my favorite trope where it's uh, hate to love. So she hates him right now because she's so attractive, but he's also like super businessy and like dismissive of her, sort of. Like, no, like he gets annoyed with her. I can't think of the word I'm trying to think of, but it's my favorite trope. And then they're slowly gonna fall in love and it's gonna be great. So, um,. I think I'm just gonna read like a chapter because um, I think that's all I'm gonna be able to manage before I'm just too tired. They've had a long chapter like this. I don't know if you can tell how like many pages that is. Uh, 56 to about 68, so about 12 pages. So I'm gonna read the chapter. And then I'm probably gonna pass out. I'm so tired from playing tennis. camera zooms in so much so I can hold you guys like five feet away all right I don't know when the last time I recorded was but I know it's been a while <laughs> since I've updated you guys if you hear like callers it's my mom's cats but I'm still reading Tokyo Ever After now cats in a bag I'm on page 243 chapter 26 so I'm like almost done um, I know I haven't really been updating on this book since I started reading it but I have been reading it consistently um, I read at least a chapter a day which <laughs> isn't that impressive but 
for me being in a reading slump that's impressive for me <laughs> um and i have some thoughts <laughs> i'm not too happy with how this book is going and it's been kind of a struggle to read it because uh, it's really hard because i still like the writing style but i don't like the story development it seems kind of rushed and the premise seems off and it's just I'll have to see how it ends, but it's just kind of like everything is a little too easy. It's a little too by the book. Like, it's kind of predictable, I guess. Like, the whole point, the reason, like, I got the book is, like, she went to Japan to meet her father. And, like, you don't really get a lot of interactions between her and her father. Like, that's the whole point. Point. and then she got mad at her dad and it seemed like she forgave him really easily even though like she was like super mad at him I don't know it's very like it's a little too easy going I don't feel like there's a ton of conflict with only so little to go I'm not sure how much of it <laughs> like how much conflict there could be possibly at this point yeah, I'm kind of ready to be done with this book. So it is currently um, 10.43 and I'm just gonna try and like speed read this um, as much as I can. I think I'm only gonna be able to last until like 12 o'clock, 12.30, because I'm already kind of tired, but I'm gonna try and read as much as I can before I'm too tired and need to go to bed. But I really want to be done with this book so that I can start another book that I think I would like more. I am feeling like I want to have a fantasy book or a different genre, I don't know. I thought this was going to be more of like a coming of age story and it just seems like it's more like it is but it isn't. Like there's this love story, it's so cookie cutter by the book I don't know I am really saddened as well because in most of the Japanese used in this book um, there is a translation and this could just be my ignorance honestly but there's some sentences that I feel like are key and I don't know the meaning <laughs> behind them. I don't know what she said because she doesn't translate it for us. And I just wish there was like a little asterisk or something um, that tells me what it translates to so that I can understand uh, the significance behind it. And um, it's kind of like a big part of the book is her learning Japanese, which is why I appreciate the translation because that also helped me learn. I don't know. I just gotta start reading and finish this and hopefully um, it doesn't end. I don't even know how I think it's gonna end but hopefully it doesn't end too boring. I suppose because I'm kind of bored at this point. page 305 now and I just want to say I freaking knew it 
I knew Yoshi was the sellout. I haven't really read it yet, but like, it says that it was him, so freaking knew it. I'm just gonna set this here real fast so you guys can get my reaction <laughs> while I read this. figured he sucks the twist of her offering the guard job is nice I guess it's just so predictable I called it so long ago I'm so mad about it <sighs> so I finally finished <laughs> actually before 12 30 it's 12 25 I finished Tokyo Ever After and I'm kind of just disappointed <laughs> I mean, I think it'll be a good book for someone who can relate to being half Japanese, half American, half maybe anything. I'm just not that person, obviously. <laughs> it started off so strongly and I was really excited for it. And then like halfway through, it just felt felt kind of short and felt like it was rushed and like not totally thought out. I don't know, it all started because she wanted to find her father and her father was barely in this book. It just turned out to be very predictable. The love story was predictable. The so-called twist of who did what was predictable like I called it <laughs> you saw it yeah I think the way it ended was good like she found herself she found who she was like that's great you know but I don't know if I needed like so much I guess filler in between that because I feel like we skipped over so many parts that were important and they just kind of skimmed over them. And so I didn't really get to feel like I was with her every step of the way of her struggling and trying to fit in to what she was supposed to be fitting into. I liked it, but like, I didn't like it. I liked the first half of it and the last half of it, I just was bored and disappointed. I'm glad I read it. <sighs> Yeah, it was just a little, had a little bit of a lackluster feel towards the end. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just so tired now. I want to go to bed. I haven't stayed up this late in so long. Let me put my glasses back on so I can actually see. Yeah, so I think I'll just end the video here because I definitely want to start reading something uh, else tomorrow. Because um, I'm trying to read at least a little bit every day, so now I have to go choose a new book, which is totally fine. I was happy to finish this one. I am happy I actually finished it because I've been struggling with finishing a book, so staying up late and just like powering through it I think was a good decision because otherwise I might have given up on this book, but I'm happy I got through it. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it. Is it the best book I've ever read in the whole wide world? No, it was very predictable. I would give it like a six, six out of 10, <laughs> debating on that. Ooh, sorry, I got the chills. Five or six out of 10. I feel like if you were someone a little younger, you might enjoy it a little more. It's more of that kind of story. Yeah, so that was me reading Tokyo Ever After. Um, if you liked this video, <laughs> please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, I hope to be posting more. <laughs> I'm trying really hard. Um, then hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.